Hello guys, welcome to Learn Electronics. Today we will learn about home automation using HC05 and Arduino. I have previously done a video on interfacing HC05 with Arduino. To understand this video better, please do watch that video too. The link for that video is in the description. Let's get started. This is the circuit diagram that I am going to use for today's project. As you can see, I am going to control the home appliances such as AC bulbs and fans via a smartphone. The smartphone is communicated with the Arduino over the Bluetooth communication and this is done with the help of a HC05 Bluetooth module. This is the HC05 Bluetooth module and it is connected to Arduino via 4 pins. The VCC, the ground, the TXT stands for transmitting data and RXT for receiving data. So the VCC is connected to the 5 volts of the Arduino. The ground is connected to the ground of the Arduino. The TXT is connected to RXT of the Arduino. And the RXT is connected to pin 1 or TXT of the Arduino. The whole setup is powered with the help of a 9 volt battery where the ground pin is connected to the ground of the Arduino and the 9 volt pin is connected to the V in of the Arduino. On the other side you can see a 2 channel relay. On the right side there are 2 AC bulbs connected to the 2 channel relay. The one end of the AC bulb is connected to the common terminal of the two channel relay. The other end is connected to the mains power supply live wire. The open pin of the two channel relay is directly connected to the neutral of the mains power supply. The same way the other LED is also connected to the relay too. Here you can see the specification of the relay. This is the maximum voltage and the current the relay can withstand. When you apply the voltage above the mentioned voltage and the current, you are going to blow up your relay. On the left side, you can see four pins which are connected to the Arduino. The ground is connected to the ground of the Arduino. The VCC is connected to the 5 volt pin of the Arduino. Here you can see. The IN1 is connected to any digital pin of the Arduino. Here I am using digital pin 9. And the IN2 is connected to the digital pin 8 of the Arduino. The IN1 and IN2 are used to control the on and off of the relay. This is how the circuit diagram works. Let's move on to the coding. This is the coding. And I have written the code for up to controlling 8 components. It can be used for 8 channel relays too. So here I have defined the variables for each component. That is 2 for lamp 1, 3 for lamp 2, 4 for lamp 3 and etc. And over here I have defined the state for each component. For LED 1, LED 2. LED 3 and so on and for each component the initial state will be 0 or off state. Here I am defining the pin mode of each component to be output that is the each pin in the Arduino has to be an output pin to control the relay. Also I am using a serial dot begin function to communicate with the Bluetooth module and the baud rate at which it communicates with the Bluetooth module is 38400. Here I am checking whether I have received any data from the smartphone to the Bluetooth module. And if I have received a data, I am storing the data in the variable received. Here I am using a simple if loop to control the on and off state of the LED or the bulb that we are going to control. 
To explain this better, I am going to use an image. Initially, the state of the bulb is off, zero. When I give an input of one, and the state is zero, the LED will become on, and the state will become one. And again, if I give an input of one, since the state is already one, and the input is one, the LED will become off. This is a simple logic that I have used in this program. Here you can see, initially the lamp state is zero, as defined here. And if I receive an input of one, then it will set the LED or the light bulb to be high. And it will set the, set the state of the lamp to be one. And if the state of the lamp is one, and if I again receive an input of one, then it will set the LED or the light bulb to be low and the state will again become zero. Same way I have written for up to eight components till here. This is how the coding works. Let's get into the project. Now I will show you how to configure the apps to control home appliances such as AC bulbs, fans, etc. Go to the Arduino Bluetooth controller app. This app is available in the Google Play Store. Allow the Bluetooth to turn on. Now on the bottom you can see a search button. Click on it. And on top you can see HC05 under the paired devices list. I have already paired the HC05 to the smartphone. To know how to pair HC05 to smartphone, I have done a video on interfacing HC05 with Arduino. The link for that video is in the description. Now click on HC05 and the HC05 is successfully connected to the smartphone. Here we are going to use the buttons. Click on buttons and hold on any button you want to configure. Now I am going to configure button 1. Hold on the button 1 and you can enter the name of the button. Here I am going to enter AC bulb. And according to our program, the on command and off command should be the same and it can vary from a value of 1 to 8. So for AC bulb, I am going to use the number 7. I am going to configure another button. Hold on the button. And this is good night. And I am going to use number 8. And save. This is how you can configure the app to control home appliances. You can configure up to 6 buttons. Now I have connected the hardware according to the circuit diagram. You can see a Arduino Uno, a 2 channel relay, a HC05 Bluetooth module, AC bulb and a good night. The AC bulb and good night are connected to one end of the circuit relay as explained in the circuit diagram. And these two wires go to the main power supply. Now I am going to control the AC bulb and the good night with the help of a smartphone. Let's go to the Android Bluetooth app. Now you can see the LED is blinking at a faster rate. When I connect it with the smartphone, the LED will blink at a slower rate as you can see now. Now go to buttons and this is the button that I have configured for the light bulb. When I click the button, the light bulb will turn on and when I click the button again, the light bulb will turn off. The same way I can control the good night. When I click the button, you can see the good night button has turned on and when I click it again, the good night LED has turned off. This is how the circuit works. Hope you like this video. Thank you.